Hi everyone, today we are making some carnivore salmon waffles. I'm Anita from ketogenicwoman.com where I make keto and carnivore recipes and other cooking ideas that have helped me to lose about 140 pounds. If you're new here, welcome. I hope you check out some of my other videos and returning viewers, welcome back. I hope you enjoy today's video. So today we are making some high protein waffles. Uh, this is for my first meal of the day today. I'm trying to increase my protein now. And so I have a full can of salmon here. I just, I, I have it draining on a paper towel because I want the salmon uh, to be dry as possible. And I'm just showing you the can so you can see the size. This is uh, 213 grams. That will be uh, about one cup of salmon, you know, just so you can get an idea of how much salmon I'm using here. I'm adding just a little dab of Dijon. Check your labels. Uh, I've had other people tell me that the Dijon has sugar, but mine doesn't. Um, so be sure that you check your labels to make sure or just, just leave it out. Uh, if you are a very strict carnivore, some of these ingredients might not work for you, but this recipe completely works without those. Got a few drops of the Worcestershire sauce, some Redmond salt, and an egg, and some beef gelatin powder. This recipe uh, is, uh, it was inspired by a recent video that I made uh, for sardine waffles. And I know a lot of people were not thrilled about having sardine waffles. It actually turned out pretty good. Uh, but salmon waffles, I'm hoping that it's, I'm going to enjoy this just as much. Before we get started and put together these salmon waffles, I want to tell you that this today's video is sponsored by Element. Element is a super tasty electrolyte drink that I personally use uh, one to two packets a day to help balance my electrolytes. Uh, and they contain science-backed formula of 1,000 milligrams of sodium, 200 milligrams of potassium, and 60 milligrams of magnesium. There are eight delicious flavors, and uh, for those of you that are strict carnivore, this raw, unflavored element drink would be perfect for you. For, for the rest of you that are keto, carnivore, somewhere on the uh, spectrum of proper human diet, these are sweetened with stevia leaf extract and the raw has no stevia in it at all. So right now, Element is offering to my viewers this free uh, eight sample pack of flavors, contains all eight of their regular flavors. You can get yours by following the link that will be on the screen or below in the description notes uh, with any purchase on the Element website. So you can try, you know, get a flavor or two and then try out the other flavors before you decide what you'll order again to see what your favorite flavor is or share it with somebody that you're introducing to electrolytes. So to get your free sample pack, go to drink element.com slash ketogenic woman that's d-r-i-n-k-l-m-n-t dot com forward slash ketogenic woman and get your sample pack thank you element for sponsoring today's video and now we're going to get on with the waffles okay i'm going to start out with uh, beating one egg I've turned on my uh, waffle maker. I have a Dash Belgian waffle maker. I got this after having gone through a couple of different of the little mini uh, Dash uh, where you make one chaffle or mini waffle. And um, I kind of got tired of having to make so many in a row. So this is kind of enough for one meal for me. I'll share the link below for this because I, I do find it handy. Um, but you can certainly make this same recipe with the little mini dash if that's what you have. Put about a quarter cup of the mixture we're going to end up with for each little mini dash waffle maker. So now I am going to put my salmon in. It's had some time to drain. I'm just going to mash it up. 
Now, of course, you can use sardines. That's why I wore my sardine apron today. You can also use any other type of seafood. I'm sure this would work with, with tuna. It probably would work with um, any type of firm, flaky fish, I believe. So there is, that's our basic mixture right here. I have made this into patties, like just, uh, or salmon cakes, I guess is what you would call it, or little patties on the stove in a pan. So if you don't have a waffle maker, you don't need to uh, worry because you can make it any way you like. I'm just going to put just a couple of drops of that in, the Worcestershire sauce, a little bit of mustard, very tiny amount. It's probably a quarter teaspoon. Pinch of Redmond's. Can always add more later too if it's not salty enough for you. Um, another option would be some Old Bay seasoning. Going to put in two teaspoons of beef gelatin. I feel that the gelatin makes these crispier, but if you don't care about that, you could leave that out too. Many of these recipes, because they're using real food ingredients, you can generally tweak it to what you have on hand. The, you know, there, this is not some magic combination. Uh, basically, you just want to have a, a patty, you know, something that can be formed into a patty and then cooked in the waffle maker. Now, I'm not doing dairy right now. If you were doing dairy, you could go back to what we used to do when we made the little chaffles and sprinkle some shredded cheese on your waffle maker, then put the batter on and then a little bit more cheese and you're going to have a crispy waffle that way. But uh, it's dairy free for me right now. So the waffle maker has been heating up. Pat this down. Okay, that is going to cook five to seven minutes. So we'll let that go and uh, then we will give it a taste. Okay, uh, depending on your waffle maker, uh, you know, just keep an eye on it. This one does click when it's done and I had a timer set. So I'm going to open this up and see, oh, look at that. Um, now I have a non-stick waffle maker. If yours is different, you might need to spray it or butter it. But there is the waffle for presentation purposes or garnishing. I like lemon when it's a salmon or sardine waffle. And I have some leftover dill, a lot of leftover dill. I didn't mean to chop up so much, but um, when I fed the kids this morning, that I made them some zucchini waffles. So I am going to put a little bit of dill on mine. Totally optional, you don't have to do that. If you're doing dairy, a dollop of sour cream on this is excellent as well. So let's give this a try. Oh, I thought maybe I should show you the other side too. So nice and brown on both sides. Mm. This is such a good way to get some seafood in. It's high in omega-3s. This meal right here is roughly 50 grams of protein. Uh, and I'm gonna go and eat this right now. I'll put the exact macros below because I'm sort of guessing uh, just from having made it in the past, I think that's what it is. So thank you for watching uh, this video today and uh, I'll be back soon with another recipe or interview or something like that. So we'll see you guys on the next video. You have your own waffles. These are my, my, my waffles. You can have a bite. How about that? And then you eat yours.